Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the horns on this 2012 Ford Escape. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. We're gonna open the hood, just pull on that lever right there. There's a hood release over here. Slide it to the left and grab the pop, prop rod. Put that in position there. Take a 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna take these two bolts out on top, right here. Take this bolt out and then same on this side. Use the same 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. I'm gonna raise and support the vehicle. I'm using a two post lift. If you're doing this at your house, you can use a jack and jack stance. I wanna take some of these push clips off. There's one missing right here. They're there, there. I'm just gonna use this trim tool. We sell this at 1AAuto.com. Just grab the center part of the clip, pry it out like that. And then get behind the clip, pull it out. Do that to the other ones. I'm just pulling the clips out of right here. From underneath here, I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Take these bolts out. Take that bolt out. Take these two out. I'm gonna remove this bolt as well. To make it easier, I'm gonna remove this whole piece. It's not completely necessary, but it will be a lot easier. So I'll remove this bolt as well. Then there's a push clip on the back side over here. It would be easier if you had the tire off to see this stuff, but uh, it's not impossible to do with the tire on. Just grab the trim tool, pull this clip out. Now from underneath on the front, there's some bolts right here. There's one here and one here. And we are gonna do the same on the other side. So we'll use the same 10 millimeter socket and I'll use an extension and a ratchet. Once that's out, I can grab this panel, slide it down. So that I can pull this inner fender well down a little more, I'm just gonna take this Phillips head screw out right here. Pull this push clip out as well. The little push tab in here, it's there. If uh, the bumper's never been removed, it's probably still there. Um, if it has been removed, it may not be there because it's not something you would put back in. So I'm just taking a straight blade screwdriver. Just want to push it up. See, right there, pull that out. When that's out, then you can grab the bumper and just pull it out, just like that. And just release it, just like that. And then we'll do the same procedure for the other side. All right, uh, these fog lights are still connected. We wanna disconnect these. Just push down on the, on the tab, slide it out. Do the same for the other side like that. Underneath here, there's a push pin. Just use the trim tool. Pull that out. Be careful, that was the only thing left holding the bumper on. And this side should have one, but it doesn't. So now I'm gonna grab the bumper, make sure both sides are released. Slide it off. I'm gonna disconnect the electrical connector on the horn. Just push down on the button, slide the connector off. And there's a connector that connects both horns together. 
We can take this off. I'll just use a 90 degree pick. Just slide under here, lift up, and then slide on the back side as well. Pull that up. Basically, you just take the pick, get underneath here, and then get underneath here on this side. Just disconnect that connector. Then I'm gonna take a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, loosen up this nut right here. Once it's loose, I can just do it with my fingers. Pull that off, and slide it out. To remove the other horn, it would be a similar procedure. You just take that nut off. So on this horn, if you look at it, um, there's an H. That stands for the high tone horn. So this happens to be the high one. This one, if we looked at it, there would be an L on that. That'd be the low tone horn. So based on whether you're missing your high tone sound or your low tone, that's which one you would replace. It's a good idea to replace them both at the same time because generally they get moisture in them and they stop working. Um, a lot of times there'll be corrosion on them like this. Um, that, that'll cause the horn not to work anymore. So um, generally you'd want to replace this at this time. Take the horn, slide it in position with the nut. And I'll take a ratchet wrench. Just snug this up while I'm holding the horn. We can reconnect this connector that connects to the other horn. Lock it in place. Then take the connector that goes to the vehicle and connect that back together. Just like that. Take the bumper. I'm just gonna slide it in position. You could use a partner to help you. Get this side lined up, push it in, and that little tab we pulled out, we're not going to be able to get it back in, So, but it's okay, it's going to stay secure. Then we'll do the same for the other side. This is one of those pins, but after you take this off, you can't really get that back in. And that's secure. We're gonna install the push pins in here. Just get these lined up. One there and then also one over here. All right, we're gonna take this panel, slide this in position. It's gonna go, the back part's gonna go over the axle. And this part. I'm gonna slide up here, take the bolt, I'm gonna stick it in my socket with an extension. The same with the other ones. Get this push pin pushed in on the back. These two bolts started. Once I have all those bolts started, I can go back with a ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket and extension and snug these all up. Take the fog light, you wanna connect the fog light connector. Just line it up and lock it in place. And do the same for the other side. I'm going to put these push pins in on this side. Here, there was one missing here, so I'll put a new one in right there. Put a push pin right here. Phillips head screw right here. Just use a Phillips head screwdriver. And snug it up. There's another push pin right under here. And now I'm gonna do the same procedure for the other side. I'll take these two bolts up top. 
One goes here, one goes on the other side here. Get those started. Take a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet and snug them up. Thanks for watching. Visit us at oneauto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.